to the Wright College of Education. This is where most of our education classes are housed and it has five floors and a basement, but today I will walk you through our five floors. So on the first floor, we have the Gordon Gathering Hall, which is also known as 124 A, B, and C. The Gordon Gathering Hall is comprised of three rooms that can be opened into one large room to accommodate larger crowds. This room also holds club meetings, graduation receptions, teacher education preview day, student teaching meetings, and professional developments. The first floor also houses the James Center for Student Success and Advising. The James Center for Student Success Advising can be used as a student space with free printing, free supplies, and a study space. In line of COVID-19, we also have a virtual waiting room, which is an iPad set up outside the James Center that has a constant Zoom going on where you can speak live with a member of the James Center staff. The James Center also houses professional developments and Praxis Core supports. Also in the James Center, you will find advising for elementary education majors, birth through kindergarten education majors, and special education majors. On the first floor, we also have a media lab where students can check out equipment for projects and access MacBooks. We also have our science lab where you can get a hands-on experience with elementary and middle age science equipment. We also have the rotunda and the mural, which is what you will walk into when you walk into the Wright College of Education. The mural was painted to represent all subjects within education at App State. Now we will move on to the second floor in the Wright College of Education. The second floor houses a lot of our classroom spaces. The average class size in ARCO is 20, and all of the rooms are equipped with a projector, a smart board, and movable furniture. The movable furniture is used to utilize different classroom learning and layouts. On the second floor, we also have our Living History Museum. The Living History Museum was completed in a media literacy class required by all education majors. Each photo depicts a specific time in history, and there's opportunities to engage with relevant technology that can be used in your career. Also on the second floor, we have the Leadership and Educational Studies Department, which houses most of our graduate programs and certificates, such as instructional technology, higher education, library science, and school administration. The second floor also houses the Curriculum and Instruction Department. The undergraduate programs are Career and Technical Education, Elementary Education, Middle Grades Education, Media Studies, um, Concentration, and a Media Studies minor. The graduate programs are Curriculum Specialist, Ed Media, Instructional Tech, Elementary Education, Middle Grades Education, and Certificates in Middle and Secondary Teaching. Now we will move on to the third floor of the Wright College of Education. On the third floor of the Wright College of Education, we have our Anderson Reading Clinic. Our Anderson Reading Clinic is housed with soundproof floors and tutoring rooms with one-way mirrors so that students can observe and watch the children learn. So the Anderson Reading Clinic is used as a classroom space and students can check out materials to use for their lesson plans and their assignments. It is also used in the special education and reading education master's programs where they also write and bind their own books. And in the private reading rooms with the one-way mirrors and the soundproof floors, local students in the area receive extra support in reading during the summers. The third floor also houses our Eric Carl artwork. Eric Carl donated artwork to be displayed in our college and has a home in Blowing Rock. The third floor houses the Department of Reading Education and Special Education with undergraduate majors in special education, graduate majors in reading education and special education, and graduate certificates in reading education, autism, and emotional and behavioral disorders. The Department of Human Development and Psychological Counseling houses graduate programs in clinical mental health counseling, marriage and family therapy, professional school counseling, and student affairs administration. We will now talk about the fourth floor of the Wright College of Education. On our fourth floor, we have our Office of the Dean. The Office of the Dean also houses Office of Field Experiences, which does placements for internships and student teaching. They also deal with our background checks, and we must have a current background check to be able to participate in any field experiences and be in the teacher education program. Right now, they are also utilizing a virtual waiting room for walk-ins, so you can talk to a person in real life in real time. Also on the fourth floor, we have our photos from the archives. So Appalachian State University was founded as a teacher's college. So my favorite photo on the hallway is of a bill from when the first, from the school first opened. And you can see that how much they paid and what they were told to bring. And that they are told to bring a lot less than we bring now. So if you go through the hallways, you'll see some of the archive photos spread all across the hallway. 
The fourth floor also houses our doctoral and education leadership program. Students can earn their doctorate in education in one of six concentrations, educational administration, higher education administration, expressive arts, inquiry and leadership, interdisciplinary studies, instructional technology leadership, and literacy and exceptionalities. We will now move on to the fifth and final floor of the Wright College of Education. On this floor, you will find the Math and Science Education Center. This center is accessible to local teachers and students and provides professional development in science and math and education. Workshops for local area students and partnership schools are also provided. Also on the fifth floor, you can look out the window and see our rooftop garden. This rooftop garden helps with our HVAC system, which increases our sustainability. As you know, App State is really focused on their sustainable practices. If you look throughout the College of Education, for every two trash bins that you see, there will be four recyclable bins along with it. Also on the fifth floor, you will see our Scholars with Diverse Abilities program. It is housed here. The Scholars with Diverse Abilities program is a two-year program for students with intellectual disabilities. Students will earn a certificate upon completion, and they attend classes and live on campus just like any other student. And there's also lots of opportunities to volunteer with SDAP. Also, on the fifth floor, you will find the Family and Child Studies Department. This department houses majors such as Child Development Birth Through Kindergarten, which has a teaching licensure, and also Child Development Family and Child Studies, which is a non licensure program. They also have minors in Child Development Family and Consumer Sciences, and they also work with the Lucy Brock Child Development Lab School that we have on campus.